Welcome everybody to another episode of Taco Tuesday. This episode is the C3P Wow. You guys can actually get this as a single pack. Uh, it's the C3PO uh, bus. And uh, I picked this because something told me that this was actually going to be a very cool car to take apart. Uh, a lot of people initially thought that this would be like the drag bus, which flipped open to reveal a large engine. Um, and this doesn't open, uh, at least not today, uh, before today. But uh, I wanted to touch base on a couple things. They actually did a good job detailing this. This body here, believe it or not, is metal. And everything else surrounding it is uh, plastic. Interesting bit of detail is that they actually made... Uh, one wheel chrome, the other gold in line with C-3PO's legs. He, one of his legs is actually chrome. If you're a fan of the trilogy, uh, or if you're a fan of the Star Wars movies, um, ask me about Boba Fett. Uh, that's a different topic. Anyways, so I want to show this to you, and uh, my suspicions were correct. And the reason I started this episode, uh, Taco Tuesday, is because... Some of the cars that I was taking apart, I found cars with a lot of details that you just would never see unless it was taken apart. So in many ways, you know, the designers of these cars, not just Hot Wheels, but Matchbox, they make them to where there's details that you'll never see. So in taking this apart, and you can tell it's, uh, I did a crappy job of, uh, the drill got away from me, so I kind of screwed up the, the rivets, but uh, when we take this apart, this, if you're a fan of engines, you're going to love this. So the body comes off, and I'm going to put this section down. Uh, this section here comes out, and it's the exhaust, um, you know, energy return canisters, or whatever you want to call that, that kind of goes back in. It's just a nice little detail. It's a nice casting of a body. A lot of details there in the bottom. Um, very, very well done. So, um... You can tell here it's got the painted little riblets, whatever, cords and stuff that made C-3PO work. Um, and you saw that the windscreen came out. But here is the coolest part. Highly detailed. And again, if you're like me and you like putting realistic looking engines inside of cars, this thing has a lot of depth. It even has the holes for the headers. You can see that there's a, a full-size V8, a lot of depth detail, and uh, that is just sweet. Um, so you, you would never know it by taking it unless you took it apart. Um, so that's kind of cool there. And uh, it's just one of the coolest uh, interiors, and you just don't see it. The, the body hides all of that. So, um, you know, if you're looking for some detailed engines... You know, these holes here can be bored out and you can put your own set of uh, headers coming out. You won't have to do anything to the engine. It looks pretty cool. I mean, if you wanted to do the block in red and kind of make it into a more of a V-shape, you could simply by cutting this section off here and then putting some type of oil pan, but super detailed engine. So... Um, and, you know, if you wanted to do something to scale, it would actually fit nice in uh, one of the gassers or uh, some progress was made on Pooch's car. Um, that's a nice size little engine. A little bit big for what I want to do with this, but you can see the scale. So that's what I wanted to show. That's Taco Tuesday, a very short video. Uh, I once again find myself tied up with work. But... Um, I am going to get back to it. I want to thank everybody for uh, getting involved with the Facebook page. Uh, I can definitely use some pointers if you guys are more familiar with, uh, you know, setting up the Facebook page. I'm thinking that there's got to be a more efficient way to post pictures and get some uh, likes so that the uh, some of the customs that are being posted can, you know, get some publicity. And uh, Scott Dunlap has done some really cool... He sent me some uh, pictures and a video. And I'm trying to do him a favor and get that posted for him. So I'm glad I extended it until the end of September. Um, but uh, give me some feedback of what you guys uh, think. And if you've got any tips, tricks, or whatnot. 
uh, I would appreciate it. And as always, happy cracking and have a good night.